Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to share with you a few things that I got for Christmas. And then when my mom was here, we did do a little bit of shopping. So I wanted to show you a few things that I picked out. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that I picked up is kind of a practical item that I needed. Well, needed. I guess I use that word loosely. Um, I, I would like to have so that I can carry smaller purses and sometimes not even a purse at all. This cute little Kate Spade card holder. It was on a super clearance. I think I got this for like $30 or something like that. But I love how cute it is. Just think like when you don't want to take a purse, you can just put all of your essentials, cash, credit card, ID in here, and you're good to go. So I just kind of wanted to share that with you. It's it's cute. I think that makes a cute little gift too for even like a teenage daughter or something. Because I mean, maybe, maybe you don't like to carry a purse and you just want something that's just basic to put your cards in. Um, so yeah, I got that. I was watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and Kyle. I love Kyle's sunglass style because it's exactly mine. Um, something that's kind of glamorous that you can wear with anything, but it really glamorizes up a basic t-shirt and jeans look. So I saw these sunglasses by Givenchy, and I believe the style is 7004. I don't know what the actual name is, but they're a little bit oversized, but they're not like a round oversized. They're more of like a square look, but I love the simple, uh, not glass, but the simple wired frames. They're not overly done. Um, they're very um, petite, like thin, and I just loved the color of the lenses. They're like a rosy brown color. I just had to have them. They're just... Oh, so pretty. So glamorous. I feel really, I don't know, I just had to have them. I thought they were funky and fun and definitely a departure from anything else that I have. And so they came home with me. So this winter I've been wearing a lot more tennis shoes. And I'll, my tennis shoes are all like workout shoes. So they're very worn and there are things that I would work out in but I wouldn't want to wear with a cute jeans, you know, cute pair of jeans and a sweater. So I found a couple pairs of tennis shoes that I love. Um, the first one are these Nike ones. These come in another color. This one's actually called a metallic red in the description, but it is indeed a rose gold. I don't know why they call it red, because it's not red at all. It's it's a true rose gold. These run, let's see, I believe I sized, yeah, I bought a seven and a half in these, and I'm normally an eight, but in these I sized half a size down. I feel like I could have maybe went another half size down, maybe. Um, they run a little large, I think. Uh, but just in case you were curious about ordering them, but I love these. I just thought they were so cute. Now I need to learn how to tie these all fancy like I see people wearing them. I just tie them like a regular old shoe. <laughs> but I see people with them all, you know, like slip your foot and it looks super cool. But I'm so not cool. I'm like the awkward girl next door. For real. And then I saw these and I love the color and every time I look at them I just think of that Elvis Presley blue suede shoes song and they are Puma. These are the Vicky V-I-K-K-Y uh, style and this blue color is beautiful. I, I mean I love it. I absolutely love it. They look really cute with jeans and just or like my uh, track pants. I wear them also with my Adidas track pants. I know that's brand mixing, and one of, a couple of you have pointed that out on Instagram, and I didn't even think about mixing brands. Like, to me, I just wanted to wear those pants and these shoes, and I don't know if it's a thing or it's not a thing or whatever it is. Maybe I'm just the one uncool person posting brand mixing, but I just thought they were so fun and so pretty, and I love the color, and they're actually really soft. I did buy a women's eight in these, so these run true to size. I have a couple gifts. Um, the first one is the Natasha Denona number 10 palette. My friend uh, Jelena sent this to me and it is stunning. I'm actually wearing this color right here all over my lid today. It is beautiful. I love the metallic shades in the, in the Natasha Denona eyeshadows. Um, they're just, they're wonderful. The mattes are good too, but I really like the metallic ones. And then my friend Charity sent me this, which was a complete and utter shock. Um, really, both of these things, I just was like, that's what I wanted. How did you know? Uh, so this is the metallic ambient, let's see, the ambient metallic strobe lighting palette by Hourglass. I know, let's see, so you can get the original uh, strobe lighting individually. But this was a trio put out for the Christmas season. We'll see if it's still online. If it is, I'll link it. But it is wonderful. Beautiful, beautiful. I love the packaging. I mean, the products are beautiful too. But, I mean, silver, oh, come on. 
my mom and I went shopping and I introduced her to Kendra Scott uh, last Mother's Day. I bought her a necklace. It was my first time going into a Kendra Scott store. I never heard of it, but I was seeing like the store was so busy all the time. I'm like, what are people shopping for in there? And then I see it was a jewelry store. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to go in there because I assumed it was like Tiffany's, you know, where it's like a million dollars. Um, but it's not. It's not. It's awesome. So I picked up these black, actually, well, I, are they called gunmetal or black? They, they, they look black. They are black. Um... They're, I can't remember what the name of these are, but they're the larger version of the, another pair that I got. I love these. I'm absolutely loving the black. They go with so many things, and I think they look just so elegant and chic. They're very well-made um, construction here. They're not, like, they're not heavy, but they're not, like, light and flimsy either. They're just really lovely. And then these are the Sophia ones, and I bought them in rose gold. They're smaller, and they're just divine. They're so pretty so easy so you can see the size comparison here so these are the larger and then the smaller ones obviously quite a bit smaller uh, but these are rose gold and these come in silver and they come in gold I really deliberated over whether I wanted the silver ones I'm just gonna eventually get them and fun fact dur during your birthday month you get one piece at Kendra Scott half off which is fabulous. Um, so I already have on my wish list what I'm going to be getting next August um, at half off. But these ones are just really pretty, just simply, simply stunning. I watch Makeup by Tiffany D, and I love her, by the way. I think she's, she's my favorite large YouTuber, hands down. I love her. And she was raving about these Spanx faux leather leggings. And she was saying how they make your butt look so yummy. And I was really nervous about ordering these because, number one, I didn't get to try them on. And trying on this type of thing in the store is a nightmare anyways. Because um, I have hips and I have a booty. And so getting things that don't suck in in all the wrong places or squish your butt all weird and make you look like, you know what I mean, if you've ever tried these types of things on, like, oh my gosh. I ordered these. I ordered a size small according to the chart. I'm 5'4 for reference. And they're good. <laughs> I honestly was shocked. They're by Spanx. They have like a um, slight sheen to them. You can see that. I might still take an Instagram photo. We'll see how brave I get. Um, but I wanted to, I bought these because I also have a longer sweater that's on its way that I want to wear with these. It's like long and it'll cover my butt. I don't love showing off my butt in tight clothes. Um, but these make it look really good. I'm like, why can't you look like this all the time? But I suppose Spanx are made to make you look good. So these get my stamp of approval. So if you're looking for a faux leather legging that's not like pleather, that's not super thick because thick ones are no good that are buttery lightweight you don't feel like you're wearing a faux leather legging seriously try these another faux leather thing you need to just get you just just get I have photos of myself wearing it on Instagram I'll put one here insert one here so you can see it is this jacket by Topshop this is the Le the Luna jacket Oh my gosh, I freaking love it. The hardware is like a gunmetal, which is my jam. It matches my Rebecca Minkoff um, purse, the Love Crossbody, because I have that one in the gunmetal. It matches perfectly. I really like a gunmetal hardware because it's not screaming, I'm gold hardware, I'm silver. You can, you know, because I feel like it's a commitment to have hardware a certain color. This just kind of blends in with the jacket. It looks so good. I love the zippers on the sleeves. I love the quilted stitching. I love that it doesn't have a huge collar. It's like a understated collar. So if you want to wear a collared shirt with this, or if you want to put this over a cull neck sweater, or anything that already has a lot going on on the top, it's not cumbersome and bulky and just overkill. It fits like a dream. I have size US 4, because I was debating between the 6 and the 4, but I opted for the... F no, never mind. Yeah, no, 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 never mind. US 4 is what I got. This, mm, th you can't really see here with me holding it, but it is so good. And it's, it's that time of year where we're all wearing sweaters. And some of you are freezing up in the north. Others are down here and you're like, it's kind of sweater weather today. I think I shall wear one. I have three yummy, yummy, really good choices. And in fact, I just did a video styling these. So check out that video. I'll have it below and I'll put it in a card of all my favorite sweaters and booties. I had such a fun time filming that video and I'd like to do more 
fashion type videos on my channel because it's my first love. Um, but I wanted to share these with you. This first one is the Lemon Drop Cardigan. Well, it's called the Lemon Drop Cardi by Free People. This comes in other colors, but this is like the neutral beige color. Oh, you guys. It's so soft. It has alpaca in it. It's very lightweight. It's a very loose knit weave. It layers well because it's thin. It has a hood. It has pockets. It is just, it's really yummy. It's really divine, and I just, I've quite frankly been living in it 24-7, sleeping in it. Like, I don't even want to take it off. I snaked this one up when I went shopping with my mom. I think it's like $17.99. It's gray, which I've been obsessed with. It doesn't have any bells and whistles. It doesn't have any buttons. It's just a simple, very simple cardigan. It's so soft. It's utterly affordable. It came in another color. I bought a size small. This one is a, let's see, what is it made out of? It's made out of a lot of stuff. Acrylic, polyamide, polyester, and elastane. It does have a little bit of stretch to it. It's just cozy and easy. And the last sweater is also by Free People. It has a cull neck. It's a cream sweater because I love cream sweaters. Slight obsession with them. They're, it's, it's a lighter weight um knit here it's not heavy it layers really well and I found that if I were up north geez if I were still living in Colorado or Jersey where I used to live I would these are lighter sweaters and I would be layering but down here in the south you can't be wearing a heavy thick you know no it's it's just too hot but what I love about pieces like this is the, is that you can layer. So like I can wear a tank top under this. I can wear this with a coat. It's not too thick, but it still gives you that layered look, which layers, dressing in layers, done. it looks cool. Okay. It looks cool. Um, but it's also functional. So this one has a cull neck, but it's not like a suck up to your neck cull neck. You can adjust it to how you want. You can wear a cute pendant with it. It's just yummy. It comes in other, it comes in like a pretty mauve color, which I probably should have ordered, but because I love cream so much, I just went with this one. Alright guys, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I look forward to chatting with you very soon.